If your Pioneer 4K Zumo TV's voice command or voice assistant function doesn't work, you keep pressing the remote's microphone button, but nothing happens, it doesn't respond or recognize your voice, and it shows errors like sorry I didn't get that, or something went wrong, try again soon, then stay tuned and follow these steps to fix your Pioneer Zumo TV's built-in voice assistant. The first thing that you should ensure that you're holding your Zumo TV remote close to your mouth and you're holding down the microphone button until you're done speaking. Also, ensure that the microphone opening is clean and there's no dust or debris buildup. In your case, when you press your remote's microphone button, if there's no voice command prompt on your screen and nothing happens, then your remote may not be paired. You can check that by going to your TV settings, then from the list, go to remote. Here the remote status should say paired and connected. If it's not paired, then go to pair your remote and follow the prompts. Also make sure that the voice control is toggled on. In case you're having trouble pairing your remote, then you can try replacing your remote's batteries or hard reset your remote and try the pairing process once again. To hard reset your remote, you'll need to press and hold the back and add button until you see the solid green LED. Then you'll need to press 9, 8 and 1 simultaneously to reset your remote. After that, just keep pressing the microphone button until the LED turns blue. And after that, you should be able to use voice commands. Also, you need to make sure that your Pioneer Zumo TV is connected to a stable network, because the voice assistant doesn't work offline. If the problem persists, then you can also try cold booting or power cycling your Zumo TV, and this should fix any issues caused by software glitches. To cold boot your TV, just unplug it from power, and wait for at least 3 minutes before turning your TV back on. For a lot of you, the cold boot should fix this issue. Now, if you're having trouble giving voice commands and your TV doesn't show any results, then you should check if you're giving the correct voice commands. For example, if you want to open an app, you should just say the app name and nothing else. So you should be short and precise when giving voice commands. Also, if you're not sure what your Zumo TV's voice command can do, then you can just press the microphone button and ask it, what can I say? After that, it will show you all the possible prompts that you can use to utilize the voice commands on your Zumo TV. Hope this video helped you out. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you around.